Introducing Vintage Vibes new Clavigel Dampening System. Clavigel is a revolutionary new way to dampen your clavinet strings. The Clavigel is a vast improvement over the antiquated yarn system. Both in ease of installation and dampening properties, when installed correctly, the Clavigel will display unprecedented, dead-on dampening of all notes. The Clavigel, you will notice, has a beveled shape. This is designed to allow string travel downwards without being impeded by the gel, thus affecting the action. You will install both of the Clavigel strips with the thicker side closer to the tuners. We're now going to show you how to install this on your prized clavinet. First thing you're going to want to do is get your proper tools and lift the lid up. Remove the front screws on your tuning panel. Remove the screw from your preamp. And next, we're going to remove the final screw from the damper mute. Great, with a flathead screwdriver underneath, you're going to see two screws that are holding down the metal frame, key frame. You're going to want to remove them. And then one on the left hand side. And in the rear, there'll be a wood screw slot head that goes into a wood support block. And lastly, behind the key bed, there will be a small bracket with a small screw going into the harp. This is a support for the middle frame of the key frame. You'll want to remove this screw to remove the key bed. Now we'll remove the key frame from the harp. Typically what you'll find in an old unrestored clavinet are hammer tips that have deteriorated into tiny crumbles of pieces. Also looking in there, you're going to see your yarn. At this point in the game, the yarn is an antiquated system for dampening strings. While it still works perfectly well, installing it is a huge burden and can consume hours of your time. And quite frankly, often enough, if you don't have expertise in using it, uh, installing it, it comes out wrong and you're left with uh, sympathetic sustain and vibrations. Next, we're gonna remove the damper mute. This will allow us to get into the string comb that's attached to the harp in the rear. And with a pair of pliers, you'll remove the spring from the arm. Now we're going to remove the pickup, the upper pickup that is. And what you'll need is a seven millimeter socket or a pair of pliers. <laughs> Next, we're going to remove the strings. Instead of replacing, uh, removing them one by one, we're just going to go the quick route and take a pair of cutters. Make sure you wear safety goggles when you do this, as the strings like to pop. Sometimes when you're removing strings, you'll find that the old strings are almost tied on at the end, and they don't easily come off. So you're going to have to kind of uh, use a pick or a small set of pliers to remove them. Or even a small pair of cutters if you can nip away at it. And other times they'll come off extremely easy. So you never know with which, which type you're going to have. Alright, now once you get all the strings off, you'll notice that your, your harp here is probably pretty dirty. Some are filthy and some maintain their cleanliness, but in this case, it's pretty dirty. So also you'll notice on these pickups, they're pretty corroded. Uh, if you attempt to clean them, I just want to make a note that you don't want to um, scrub these. And you'll notice these little um, wire connectors here. They're connecting each pickup together. And there's uh, seven or eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, 
so you don't want to break those connections or you're going to make your pickup go go uh, bad shorted open um, so if you're going to clean them just be very careful just to clean the top of them only and as for the rest of the harp you can use windex paper towel a few times you can even use like a uh, brasso to clean this uh, a brass cleaner um, and these are brass as well so you can you know depending on how much you care and how much time you spend you can really clean them up pretty good um, so that's that will be up to you though just wanted to make that note next we're going to begin to vacuum out the entire case carefully remove the excess yarn with a razor blade Use Scotch-Brite and a wire wheel to remove any dirt and grit from the anvil and tuning pegs. And when you're done with that, a good metal polish will make things shine. Vacuum once again with a scrub brush. And finally clean the harp with some Windex. One note when replacing strings is you'll note that this block of wood which holds up the damper um, mechanism um, is very close to the string comb here and so I would recommend notching this with a knife you want to cut out a chamfer there so it in order to get your string in there a lot easier okay before we start installing our new strings we're going to set the eyelet on the tuning peg in the exact same direction on all of them. This way when we go to string the, uh, put the string through the peg, uh, all the holes will be aligned with the uh, direction that the string is going in. And we don't have to look for it or search for the hole. So it's just a matter of setting it up. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll take our gel and we'll lie it down in between the tuners and the anvil, the brass anvil, in the same spot your yarn would have gone. So when you get yours in your kit, all you'll do is take a, a utility knife or a pair of scissors and just cut the angle to fit in there. And then you're going to want to just press out the air bubbles as best you can. And you're going to proceed to start with the first bass string and you want to keep a pretty good amount of tension on it so it doesn't pop out of the, the comb here. And then we're going to come down here and you're going to wind it around the first tuner. And then you're going to come through the eyelet with your tool to tighten it up a little bit. Okay, here we are. We're going to cut all our strings off now. And the reason we've left them all on to begin with is if you cut them individually one at a time, every time you go back to place another string on, you run the risk of poking a hole in your finger from the cut string. Uh, they're very sharp. They can be like needles. After all strings are installed and trimmed, it's time to lay the top strip down. Cut strips so it lines up with the end of the last tuning peg. In each clavigel kit, there will be six clava clips. These clips fasten to the tuning pegs and they hold down the top gel strip to the bottom gel strip in place. We're going to show you how to install them. We use a sharpie to mark where we're going to put our clips. We usually place the clips about every 10 guide pillars. As indicated, the left prong of the clip should be slightly above the right prong. 
You can pre-bend it to give it some tension, but you don't want to give it too much tension, as too much tension could create after ringing of notes. Ensure the right side of the clip goes under the string and the left side fits into the groove of the string guide pillar. Try to maintain the shape of the clip. Try not to distort the shape of it. The claviclips can easily be removed at any time for adjustment or removal of the top gel strip. It does not interfere with your tuning peg or with the hammer. Now you're going to replace the top pickup. Okay, we're looking at the pickup now and we think it can get a little bit hotter output in the treble area. So we're going to lower the right end of the pickup closer to the strings. This will give us a better output. Lower. Lower. Eh, a little lower maybe. If you want to adjust the base end, it would be the same way. You would adjust the lower screw under the pickup, which is located right there. Now we're putting the mute back on. There we go. Use this Excuse me. Work with me here. Like so. Set it in place. Line up their holes. Replace the keyframe. Now you're ready to tune. Our tuning bit is manufactured to make tuning a snap. You can attach it to a drill or a multi-bit attachment tool. For those interested, we use the Peterson tuning app on our phones. Once you've tuned up, you're ready to rock. To buy our clavigel, strings, and tuning bits, visit VintageVibe.com.